Give yourself flying lessons. We need heroes in our lives. They are not a sign of weakness, they are a source of strength. Without heroes, said Bernard Malamud, we are all plain people and we don't know how far we can go. Heroes show us what's possible for a human being to accomplish. Therefore, heroes are very useful to anyone who is in the process of finally understanding self-motivation. But unless we consciously select our heroes in order to use them as inspiration, we simply end up envying great people instead of emulating them. When used properly, a hero can be an enriching source of energy and inspiration. You don't have to have just one hero, either. Choose a number of them. Put their pictures up. Become an expert on their lives. Collect books about them. My youngest sister, Cindy, as a shy little girl, always admired Amelia Earhart. Not long ago, after she had reached her thirties, she revealed to me that she had been taking flying lessons. I was stunned. A few weeks after that, the family went out to a little airport outside of town to watch her fly her first solo. I was so scared, said Cindy, that my mouth and throat went completely dry. Flying has nothing to do with what Cindy does for a living, she just took lessons and learned to pilot a plane because of the impression that her hero, Amelia Earhart, made on her as a little girl. We grow into that which we admire, said Emmett Fox. Before he became a famous author, Napoleon Hill was struggling as a writer and speaker. He had a friend whose restaurant business was not doing well and Hill offered to give free motivational speeches at the restaurant one night a week to help his friend increase his business. The speeches helped his friend a little, but they helped Hill a lot. He began to gain a large following. When I read about that part of Hill's life, it gave me an idea. At the time I wanted to be a full-time speaker and I didn't know where to begin. I'd done a few seminars and talks here and there, but there was no pattern or purposeful direction to it. I decided to emulate Hill. I began putting on a free, open-to-the-public workshop every Thursday night at the company where I was working as a marketing director. At first, the workshops were not well attended. I had to spend part of the week begging people to come. Once the audience was two people. But week by week the workshop's reputation grew and my own experience grew along with it. Soon we had large audiences waiting to get in on Thursday nights, and I credit that little free workshop with putting me into full-time public speaking. Was it an original idea? No, I stole it. I copied a hero of mine. But our awareness of the choice involving heroes is vital for self-creation. We can envy them or we can emulate them. The best use of heroes is not to just be in awe of them, but to learn something from them. To let their lives inspire us. They are only people like we are. What distinguishes them from us is the great levels they've reached in self-motivation. To passively adore them is to insult our own potential. Instead of looking up to our heroes, it is much more beneficial to look into them. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.